I'm taking your duct tape. There's nothing you could do about it. Uh. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Uh, what are you? What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I kind of wish I would have kept Nick with me. I'm curious to see uh, what he would have thought about all this, if he would have said anything at all. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Uh, why do you ask? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Uh, no. But let's ask him. How would I know? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. Really? None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? Uh, dude, I'm a human. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? Um, you go first. I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. In the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite... content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours? Uh, well, I remember being with my family. I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... Lots happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. <laughs> Data is easy to migrate, but feelings? That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, 
Even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Okay. Where's Kasumi? I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Uh, let's see. I'm in the Institute. I'm in the Brotherhood. I'm in the Railroad. The heck? Um, I'm not in any of those. Weird. Huh. Uh, we are kind of closest to being in the Railroad than these other Careful two, with but... Your words. Admirable. Um... Mm, nothing else. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long oh. time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Wow. Lots of stuff happening very, very quickly here. New quests. Where you belong. Talk to Kasumi Nakano. I've met Dima, the leader of Acadia. He's opened the compound to me and says I can see Kasumi Nakano whenever I want. Well, that's good. Then we have this new quest, Acadian Ideals. Dima, the leader of Acadia, has opened the compound to me. He mentioned that if I want to help, I can work with his co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Let's turn these on. Turn this quest on before we talk to Kasumi. And we're allowed to take stuff Master from here. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, hey, there's people here. Hey, dude, what's up? You're Faraday. Don't look at me like that. So, you've talked to Dima. Uh-huh. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Uh, are you a synth? So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. You do all this stuff yourself? You all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can, but no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Uh, fog condensers? Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. And they're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Well, that was nice of you. Tell me about Dima's augments. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. What a guy. Let's help him out. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so... Does this sound like something you could handle? Uh, tell me what happened. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. 
But the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure, I got it covered. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Sure thing, man. Started data recovery, retrieve the storage drives. Need place. Take our quests. Data recovery. Faraday has asked me to recover some missing storage drives that could be used to help Dima. They're on a boat to the southwest of Acadia. Let's see where this is. Down here, huh? Very close to the Vim Pop Factory. Near Southwest Harbor. Cool. Let's uh, speak with Chase now and see what we can do for her. I'm guessing this is Chase. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. Uh, you think you could do better? So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition? Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you find them? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. Tell me your story. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning <laughs> synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Good for you. Tell me about Acadia. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I want to help. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact there is. If you're serious about contributing, well... We've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. Mm, what's the problem? What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. Any leads? You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Alright, new quest started the arrival talk to Brooks. Chase is concerned about a synth who was supposed to arrive at Acadia, but hasn't shown up yet. She sent me to Far Harbor to ask Brooks if he's seen the missing synth. I'm trying to remember who Brooks is. Is he the guy that worked in the shop? I don't remember. The name sounds familiar. Oh, let's go in here. Okay, so this will take us downstairs. Remember, this was a door that we needed a key to open. Oh, this door's open now, too. What's going on in here? What's all this stuff for? Taking that stuff. Amen, brother. A technical document. Kind of bright. Um, what's going on here? There we go. Can we read this? Oh yeah, invalid function, error, bad command. Boy, he's got all kinds of problems. This guy writes some pretty crappy code. 
all kinds of errors. Every machine. Uh, Wonder Glue. I'll take that. Thank you very much. What the heck? More terminals with nothing but errors. This guy's terrible. He doesn't know what he's doing. Ooh, a footlocker. Take those fusion cores. Thank you very much. Thank you very, a very, a very much. Battered clipboard. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Have to unlock Faraday's terminal. Surgical tray. Uh, take all that. So, um, I wonder what old Faraday would think if we tried to unlock his terminal. And he is in a different room right now, but he could see us do it. What else we got? Anything else good in here? Uh, I saw a technical document pop up. Technical document, we'll take that. What if we shut this door? That should keep him out. Well, let's, uh, let's hit the old F5 button. Unlock his terminal. Southwards. No likenesses, really. No likenesses at all. Well, I don't think curriculum matches any. Ooh, no li no likenesses there either. What about electronic? Mm, this is a pretty tricky one here. But I don't think electronic matches either one of those either. No likenesses in electronic either? Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Uh, processing matches the C in electronic. Bedraggled? Okay. Uh, bedraggled matches the L in curriculum. Individual. Individual. Uh, does it match anything? I don't think it does. There we go. All right, system status. Array status online. Memory integrity 94.7%. CPU load. 31.5% system errors. Array 17 offline. Array 4 drive intermittent response. Array 6 drive B7 not responding. That's it, huh? Alright, that's kind of boring. Do all that trouble to break in there for nothing, really. Yes? What's going on, dude? Tell me your story. Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you care. I don't. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I'd respond. Okay. Well, I didn't have any other options to ask any more questions. Blame the game, not the player. Uh, duct tape, silver table knife. Uh, rounds. Technical documents. Very important stuff. Sup, Dima? Dima. Acadia is open to you. Did you need anything? Yeah. Oh, uh, hmm. I shouldn't hmm. get going. Of course. All right, so I'm going to do something that uh, I don't normally do. I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. Uh -huh. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. Uh -huh. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Yes? No, really, I don't have anything to say Sorry. to you. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, save the game, right? Let's do a quick save, and uh, let's see what how he reacts to all three of these things. Does that sound cool? Let's just I'm just curious to see how he reacts. All right, so we're stepping outside of role playing here for a bit, and just into the realm of, hey, let's see what the game does. Hey, Dima, what can I do for you? Let's tell him that we're with the Institute. 
Now, I'm just gonna tell you right now, Bima. I'm in the Institute. That's quite an admission to make. Mm -hmm. I'm used to the Institute striking from the shadows. I'll say this to you. I'm not your enemy. I only wish to live here, in peace, with my people. As a scientist, can you not see the value of independent synth life? You have a chance here to witness how wondrous that could be. All you have to do is do nothing. Don't tell your fellow researchers about us. Don't tell them we're here. Hmm. Um, and uh, what about returning peacefully? I don't suppose there's any way you and your people would return to the Institute peacefully. I appreciate the offer. I do, actually. No one wants bloodshed, but we can't go back, and I'm not going to hide. If you want us, fine, but we'll fight for this, for Acadia's existence. Consider my offer. Don't say anything. What have you got to lose? Now, did you need anything else? Mm hmm. Interesting. So now we can ask him about his story. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, well, well, let's go ahead and ask him. Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Uh, wow, that's so weird that we could say that we're in the Brotherhood and the Railroad after we already said that uh, we're in the Institute. That's strange. Well, let's see what he says if we tell him this. I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel. And we have plenty to say about synths. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Those who've used us tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All we want is to live in peace. On our own. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. Hmm. Any uh, any chance you'd surrender peacefully? I don't suppose there's any way you and your people will surrender peacefully. I appreciate that. I do. But judging by the reputation your leaders have, I doubt they would accept surrender even if I wanted to offer it. Even if they would take us prisoner, we can't live in cages ever again. If you want us, fine, but we'll fight for this, for Acadia's existence. Consider my offer. Just see what we're trying to accomplish here. What have you got to lose? Now, did you need anything else? This is kind of interesting. It's almost as if this has no consequences. We could tell him that we're with all of these, and it doesn't seem to affect anything other than just give us some new dialogue about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? Well, let's tell him we're in the railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture, but sacrificing what you are, 
avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Hmm. Uh, so what, you're saying that you don't want our help? Are you saying you don't want the railroad's help? It's not about that. It's about how you've let fear blind your cause. Uh... Well, um... Uh... Hmm. I want to say I'm sorry, because I'm not really with the railroad, and that does sound terrible. Um... But, uh... Yeah, we protect sense, damn it. Ideals aren't going to protect escaped sense. We do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I just... No. No, I shouldn't judge. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth, in relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Uh, yeah, is everybody here since? So, everyone here in Acadia is a since? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. Hmm, okay. Nothing else then. I should get going. Of course. So initially, my plan was to do a save, telling him that we were a member of the Institute, see what happens, uh, reload, uh, tell him we're a member of the Brotherhood, see what happens. Reload, tell him we're a member of the Railroad, see what happens. But nothing really seems to have come from telling him that we're with every faction. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm just going to let it stand. Um, and hope that it doesn't come back to bite me later. Whoa, f fusion cells, wonder glue, silver locket. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to let it roll. That's cool. I'm glad I did that. Uh, just because we got to uh, hear more stuff and see how I reacted to uh, these other things. That's kind of interesting, right? I thought it was anyway. Well, uh, it is time for me to uh, end my play session, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll look around in here some more, see if there's anything else to see. Uh, see if we can get up there. Yeah, there's a walkway up there. We'll look around, and then uh, we'll also go talk to Kasumi. So it should be an interesting episode. Interesting play session. I hope you'll join me, and I sure do hope you've enjoyed this play session. If you have, you know the deal. If you did enjoy it, won't you let me know? Let me uh, leave me a like or a comment. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I sure do hope <laughs> you'll join me again. And I hope I could talk better next time in the next episode.